Hey everyone, this is Harley from GardenFL.com. Uh, today I'm going to do a update on my Anona and um, Atamoya trees I have on my property. So uh, I planted these trees about four months ago now, and uh, this will be their first year of production. Um, I planted them in about, I would say, uh, January. I believe this is Elisa at the Moya. It's like a little tree. It's about um, four feet tall, let's say. Over here we have another uh, Lisa at the Moya. This one has new growth coming um, very well. This one's about the same height. And uh, this is where a lot of my sugar apple are located. On my property, I have a lot of sugar apple because it's my favorite fruit. This is another atamonia I got. Uh, I'm not sure what type it is, but I believe it's Geffner um, because the bark is kind of dark. So if you guys have a Geffner and you can confirm this or you have leaves that look similar in the springtime. Right now, today is March 24th, I believe. Um, this is growing really well. I got this when it was just a stick, so when it was dormant, so I, there was really not much promise for that one, but it looks great. This is, um, what is this one? A Priestly at Demonia. Uh, this one has new growth coming along very well. And uh, yeah. so over here we starting to have the sugar apples. Now these have growth on them like crazy all over. So I'm really happy. This, like I said, this will be the first year in production of uh, these sugar apples. Now these varieties are uh, Vietnamese sugar apples, other, otherwise known as um, Nadai. And right over here, this is a Thai sugar apple. Um, and I pluck all the leaves. This one had um, a lot of new leaves. Oh, I mean old leaves. So I plucked them. Uh, and these have the flowers coming along, but on that tree is very small. Now in between these trees, I have compost ditches. Uh, this one's pretty, pretty deep already. I eat a lot of coconut. So it's filled with coconut. Now this is another, uh, I believe, Geffner at Demoya. Now this leaf is just huge, like this is the size of my hand. This is a huge, huge leaf. A lot of new growth. This was the same, I bought it when it was dormant. Um, this is a uh, Vietnamese sugar apple. I love how the leaves are coming along. You know, it's only March and the leaves are starting to come along uh, really good. Now I bought these trees when they were, a lot when they were, um, when they had no leaves. So it was kind of like, Kind of like not promising when I, not promising but it just wasn't wasn't too good now this one over here i love because as you could see the flowers are coming along just really good um and this one believe it or not is still in a pot so you could tell there's another flower beautiful so right down here we have a lot of baby sugar apples. I believe these are uh, like a year old. These already have some of the flowers coming up. There's some more. Nice ones. Uh, some more sugar apples that I skipped. This is a Thai sugar apple. As you can see, it's just uh, filled with little flowers. Now, if you guys are growing sugar apples in Florida and you've seen this on your, on your sugar apple trees, let me know. Because a lot of my sugar apple trees, some of the flowers are turning black. I just believe that's because it has a lot of flowers. Now it's not on all of them. It's not on all flowers. So, 
Here's another sugar apple. So just as so you can guys can uh, get a scope. This is uh, you can see I have about. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Like 16 sugar apples in this section right here, including the little ones. But I really count those. This right here I, I skipped. But this is a red custard apple, Sao, uh, San uh, Pablo. So I moved it right over here. It used to be in the ground, but it wasn't getting good drainage. So I put it in a pot. And we're going to see what happens. It hasn't grown in about like uh, a month now. So if you guys have a red custard apple, I'm located in Bradenton, Florida, and my zone is 9B. So I don't know. Maybe it just needs more sun. But this, I moved it here. Now this area gets excellent sun. So right over here, I have more uh, sugar apple. Now these are little in pots. They're not too little. But as you see, this one is just flourishing. I love how this looks. The sugar apple uh, leaf is quite attractive. It makes a great landscape uh, sugar apple uh, tree. Great landscape, great landscape tree. As you see, more. So we're gonna go over here to this section. Now it looks beautiful in the morning. But here's more um, sugar apple I have. As you can tell by now, sugar apple is my favorite fruit. This is a bigger sugar apple. Now this one is its first year in the ground. Um, now I got this back in December. And I we pruned it in December. Now I wasn't sure if if that was if I was supposed to do that. To sugar apples, I was just really um, it's kind of new to gardening at that time, but it's coming out with a lot of new growth, but it's really clumped up, so we'll see how that turns out. Now I had this stump right here and I trimmed that, but this used to have a lot a lot of other growth right here, so I'm, we'll see how this one turns out. And so you guys can see I have a lot of mulberries. Ready to be picked and other other things back there. Any spittle, jackfruit, coconut. But let's go to the sugar apples because that's what this video is about. Let's go. Oop, there's a squirrel. Uh, okay, so here we have another sugar apple. This one is smaller. Um, but it's growing, so we'll see. <clears throat> Over here we have a sugar apple in a pot. It's a really nice big pot planter. And it's starting to get a lot of uh, new leaves, new flush of leaves, so I'm excited for this one. Now as you can see, it's a great morning sun. Uh, over here we have another sugar apple growing in a pot next to my kale. Uh, and amongst here I have sugar apple that I brought home from Colombia. Now these are the smaller ones. Now this fruit, the seed from this fruit, the sugar apple was like the size of um, a coconut. So these are the si these are the seedlings from Colombia with the coconut sized sugar apple. Now these seedlings are doing great. I can't wait. These are about uh, four months old. I just transferred them to these big, I think seven gallon pots. Cause they were uh, starting to get, um, the roots were growing at the bottoms. So I can't wait for those. Okay, to the left of that, here we have another sugar apple. This is Thai sugar apple. In a uh, five gallon pot. And right over here, we have another sugar apple. This is a Vietnamese sugar apple. This one's beautiful, beautiful flourish. As you can see, it has uh, flowers. Let's see if we can, it might be too bright. Yeah, I don't know. But this one just has many flowers. This is in a pot as well, but this is gonna go in the ground where it's at right there uh, right here we have another sugar apple this one's gonna go in the ground where it's at as well now as you could tell 
Uh, there's not much space in between these trees. Oh, I miss the sugar apple right here. <laughs> this is a Vietnamese sugar apple. So as you can see, look, sugar apple right here, sugar apple right there, sugar apple right there, amongst all these sugar apples, sugar apple right here, sugar apple right there. Uh, if you guys can't tell right by now how much I love sugar apple. <laughs> okay, so let's walk over here. Here we have a Rolinia. Uh, this one I ordered off uh, FLNurseryMart.com and it came like with a little bit of flowers, at least. Now this is going very vigorously. Now I've heard from other uh, gardeners in Florida that grow this tree that it grows vigorously, so I can confirm that. It has new growth, new growth everywhere. Now, just right behind it, here we have another sugar apple. <clears throat> now, this sugar apple was a beautiful tree, it still is, but it had all these beautiful growth when I bought it had like two sugar apples still growing but they lost it on the way home unfortunately because uh i put it in the back of my truck but we pruned it really heavy and it's the slowest growing sugar apple out of all my sugar apples unfortunately and it's the biggest one so i thought it would be you know the strongest one so it might just grow back in a few like by summer it might just grow really strong it's still growing but just very slowly so this year might not be too productive and I'm gonna wait to prune my trees now, um, especially my sugar apples. So let's go right here. So right next to it, next to our very nice uh, water fountain, which I like very much. We have another sugar apple. <laughs> and this one, as you see, has flowers as well. Okay, let's go on. Whoa, guess what it is, guys? <laughs> it's another sugar apple. This is a uh, Thai, the Thai variety. Now the difference between the Vietnamese and Thai variety is, from what I from what I've seen and what I've tasted, um, the Vietnamese variety to me is just so much better because it's bit the the fruit are more round and uh, to me have more meat and less seeds. Um, and the Thai one is kind of always, it's not like perfect, not always, like, not like a perfect round like the Vietnamese ones, but they're still delicious. So I'm, that's why I still have both kinds. Um, now where do we have more? Okay, so right here we have another sugar apple, which I'm doing a, a test on. I cut a a branch off one sugar apple I'm kind of just trying to see if it'll grow it's very small so we'll see I'll give you an update on that later uh, let's go over here. here we have we have soursop which I miss another soursop sure we head back there but anyways here we have another sugar apple this one's I think this one's two years in the ground this one it produced like one fruit last year and over here we have the sugar apple which is doing great this one's in a pot as well and i i hired um some ladybugs to do because this one had aphids all over i'm trying to see if it's still here it was a larvae of a ladybug but he, he just ate all the he was eating all the aphids so I don't see them, but let's go to the other sugar apples. <laughs> okay, so just right outside the property, we have three sugar apples growing. Now this one has a beautiful flower, which I didn't even notice. It's wonderful. And these have more space. I'm not gonna prune these as much as those on the property. On the, the ones on the property, I'm gonna have to prune heavily when the time comes, because to keep the space adequate. But these, I'm just gonna kind of let take up this area. 
so they have quite some space. Anyways, this one is, this one's kind of more of a cone, not cone, but uh, how do I explain, like a vase shaped, kind of open. And then this one right over here is coming on great. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you want more updates on my garden, especially my sugar apples, please follow me at uh, Garden Florida on Instagram, or you can check out my blog at www.gardenfl.com. All right, guys, thank you so much, and have a great day. Bye-bye.